By this point in time, the luster of Among Us has ceased for reasons I won't bother to get into. The important part I wish to look at is what made Among Us good. There's a lot of factors, but the one I'm interested in is the psychological aspect of it. Now, Among Us is known for memes and ill-attributed references from Nagatoro, but yeah, it is a mind game at its core. As crewmates battle against the imposters, you'll see meetings filled with distrust, blatant gaslighting, crewmates looking over their shoulder because they don't know when they'll be killed. It's a simple game, but it's brilliant because the joy we derive from it comes from our own natural fear and anxiety. In a different medium of manga, general game or the werewolf game can be viewed in the same way. General game is a manga written by Akiguchi Gigo and drawn by Kodan and has a total of three series. General Game, General Game B-Side, and Jiro Game Crazy Fox. Today, I'll be talking about these series in general to give you an idea of what it is and whether or not you should check it out. One day, a group of high schoolers wake up and come to find themselves abducted and abandoned in some remote place. The students are informed by a mysterious group that they are all bound to play the werewolf game. Refusal means death. While the rules vary for each series, what is consistent is that the students will be allotted roles that will determine the course of their lives. The basic roles being one of villager and werewolf, two groups that directly oppose each other. The villagers outnumber the werewolves in numbers, but are vulnerable to being killed by the wolves at night. The power belonging to everyone, though, is the power of democracy. At a certain time, players vote on one person to kill and majority rules. This is the only method villagers can protect themselves from werewolves as no one can violently attack each other except the wolves at night. The villagers win when all wolves have been killed and the wolves win when they outnumber the villagers. So it's a struggle that encourages alliances, deception, and survival instincts. Now, in the beginning, I talked about the parallels this manga has with Among Us, but actually, they both are sons to Dmitri Davioff, the man who created the game known as Mafia in 1987, which forms the core of what general game in Among Us is about as far as the general idea of it. In 1997, Andrew Polakin took the concept of Mafia and repainted it with the werewolf theme, which general game is directly based on. In short, General Game is a social deduction game in manga format. As I said though, the iterations of General Game, specifically the latter two, have tweaks to the rules that make it more interesting. Like added roles other than Villager and Wolf, how the killings function after a player has been voted out, and who we follow as the main character. Now, as you probably already surmised, Jiro Game is a horror manga, and more specifically, it is in the genre of death games. As the name indicates, there are series that involve a decent sized cast playing games that pose a threat of death in the event of a loss. Many series follow this mold, the most popular example I can think of being Switch Games. And what is almost always true about these type of series is its appeal. With a premise such as Jiro Game, it would be foolish to believe that many of the characters will stay alive. At max, you're looking at maybe a fourth of the cast surviving by the end, and every Jiro Game series is under 25 chapters. What I'm getting at is that the cast is not the strong point of the series. In fact, they are the capital for the story to use to fulfill the audience's guilty pleasure. Like I'm sure fans of slasher films will attest to, when you watch those movies, you expect the cast to be filled with the common archetypes, rather than interesting individual characters. You'll have the slasher themselves, the final girl, the guy who warns everybody but gets ignored, the stupid couple that has sex during the carnage, the person who is adept at fighting the slasher, maybe a useless cop or two, the meathead jock, the person who is skeptical of everything no matter what evidence is presented, the person with no composure, and maybe a black guy that gets killed just for the fuck of it. Now, why does that happen and how does this relate to genre game? First, movies recycle tropes because again, with their limited time, they are focused on pleasing the audience with blood, gore, and suspense. And for this end, characters must die. They are the fodder for your entertainment. 
at best you'll like or maybe even relate to two or three characters and that's by design the creators aren't spending time developing characters that they're just going to kill off quick anyways and the same can be said about genero game Honestly, I didn't like any of the MCs from Genero Game and only a few side characters did anything for me, but I was alright with it because I was appealed to in other ways, mainly the psychology and mystery. As you're reading this series, you'll only know the role of one person from the start, which is the MC, and as the series progresses, it's as if you're living vicariously through the MC without the fear of death, thinking, who's a wolf, who's a villager? who's lying and who's telling the truth. Since we don't get an objective view of the story, it's easy to place yourself into the fray and try to make your own theories. I will say though, the first Genero game tried to develop some of the characters a little, but rightfully abandoned that idea in the sequels where they probably thought to themselves, why am I giving fodder god number four who dies in chapter four an entire backstory? The other good quality of the series is the violence. As a horror manga, it's hard to really shake me. The medium doesn't have complementary components like sound and movement, so again, making me scared is a tough thing to do, but you can make me uncomfortable with violence, which, yeah, mission accomplished. And I think the series tolls a healthy line of being violent, but not super edgy. Series like Pumpkin Night, for example, are too over the top to the point that its scenes comes off as either comical or just gross. Every individual person is different, so my threshold for blood and gore may be different from yours, but I think Genero Game is good and balanced. The art isn't the best, but I think it works for the series. What I mean by this is that while Genero Game isn't as pretty as your favorite drawn manga, the gritty art helps keep up the dark vibe and illustrate the deaths in a grotesque manner. Plus, the covers for the series are really fucking good, so the art is a positive. The negatives for the series differ for each of them. I think the first one suffered from a boring MC and time wasted on mid bat stories for unimportant characters. The second suffered from a weird 180 in characterization as well as a bad ending, while the third one suffered from a lackluster MC, bad romance, and another bad ending. What flaws all the general game series share is the predictability of the ending. I know that sounds like a contradiction to one of my positives for the series, which was the mystery, but I'm referring to the predictableness of one specific part of general game, which is the ending. I can't say what this is exactly because I don't want to spoil, but once you read even one of the general game series, you'll understand what I'm alluding to. That's all I'll say. For my final verdict, I would say you should read this series, however, I don't think it's a good series. Genero Game stands in the middle of mediocre and above average, like a 5.5 .5 score out of 10. Its highs aren't very high and its lows aren't very low. While that isn't a cosign people may want, that's what it is. I think because of the series being so short, I don't have a problem with the lack of quality. The Genero Game series combined for a total of 60 chapters flat, so you could read the entire thing in a day and still have time to browse around on your incognito sites. Yeah, I know what you be doing. It's one of those series that I'd classify as fast food manga. It's not great, it may not even be good, but it's quick and convenient. So make your choices on whether this series is worth your time. And before I head out, I wanna wish anyone who's watching up to this point a safe Halloween. I am Satsuki the Savage and I am out. Life is just death, taking this time Who gon' take it from my hand? Was lonely before friends I'm holding my own hand And taking these bad shots Just hoping they go in Everything folds in